have to get on after my room. Oh, Dave was on for a little. Okay. That's good. All right. So we're up to the bottom line on um, Vavam the base. Yes, it says Zaka de Mitziosa. So we said that the father is Zaycha and the Matthias of the woman. So on to Memzayin Amara. Look, Mishum Eva. Ah, so now what does this mean, Mishum Eva? So, so Rashi says, okay, Eva is normally, normally meant, is used as that uh, it's going to cause animosity. So Rashi says the Pshat in this Eva is because since the father is not Bechuyiv to feed his daughter, which we're going to see in a couple of lot, really, really, you're only Bechuyiv to feed your child up to the age of six. That's it. Right? So since the father is not uh, is is not Bechuyiv and he's giving anyways, and then she comes home and she says, look, I found a thousand dollars and he says, well, why am I paying her money if she's not even giving me more? They were afraid that that's what's going to happen. So they said, okay, her Matia goes to the father. Um, and Ra- and Tysus has a little bit of a difference. He says that if, if you're not going to do it, then maybe he's going to marry you off to a Manuval or Mukashin or somebody who's disgusting. Yeah, okay, fine. So that's the first one. The Maisia there, so the father gets... Or my see I mean, Nolan, how do we know this? So we had a similar Gemara before. How do you know that whatever the daughter does, those other? Shanamar of Kadish is Pite Lama. If a man has a daughter of my father, meaning a, uh, I'm tying out to her father, to her master. So Afbas, my see you there, love you. So, so to a daughter, her my see you there, goes to her father. I think what it's yeah, meaning the same way that a, a boss gets his that gets his workers' earnings, so too. So does the father. Maybe that's only by a katana, the Matsi Mazman law, because he's able to sell her. Right? The father, we said, is allowed to sell his daughter for whatever he wants. So, so he gets to keep her Maisia the her her earnings. Naira, the but the Naira, meaning from the age twelve to twelve and a half. It is not allowed to sell her Maisia Deir Didav, and maybe she gets to keep her own Maisia Deir. So what answers, Mustavra Davia Hava. Mustavra, it's really, it goes to her father. Why? Because if you think that the father does not get her earnings, this that the father is allowed to hand over his daughter for the chuppah, meaning he's, he can marry her off whenever he wants. How could he give her over for marriage? She could say, yeah, I can't come to the chuppah. I'm working now. All right? A very interesting question, meaning we're saying it has to be that the father gets the daughter's earnings because we know that the father's allowed to marry off the daughter and keep the money. What happens if he, so he comes, he wakes up his daughter, he says, by the way, you got to come home an hour early from work today because I'm marrying you off. She says, you can't, you don't know, I, I, am, I keep my own money and I have to work at that time, right? So obviously she can't say that. So since she can't say that, so that means that must be the reason why she can't say that is because her my see there, go to her, go to her father. So Mamela, her working is for him. So he could tell her, I don't want you to work now, right? Fine. So that's so that's the, the Gemara wants to bring that as a proof that it must be again since the father could marry off the daughter whenever he wants that means that he has control over her earning. So Gemara says, Parach Ravachai, Ravachai has the kasha, Ema the Yavla Schar Pakasa. Maybe he's going to give her the schar for for the time that she normally spends that that money. Meaning, let's say she says, I get paid ten dollars an hour. All right? Okay, so I get ten dollars an hour. So I can't show up to the wedding because I'm going to lose $10. So the father has to give her $10. Right? He'll have to give her $10 for the money that she loses. Maybe she does keep her money. The father can still marry off. He just gets to keep the $10. Inami, the masala belelia. Or he makes the chuppah at night. 
when she's not working, inami the muscle of Shabbos Yom Tovim, or if he makes her get married on Shabbos and Yom Tov. Now, there's a major sugi here, meaning he could make her get married on Shabbos and Yom Tov when they're not working, anyways. We'll get back to this in a minute. So, therefore, that's the kasha. So, we don't necessarily have a proof that the it's father Yaakov, gets to keep the earnings. Yeah. What? But what about the fact that once you sell her to the, once you give her over to the husband, he has a schuster maisi there, no? Yeah, so. So if you're giving her over and now he has a schuster maisi there, that means he's being mavato or maisi there, no? She doesn't have the right to keep her own maisi there at that point. Well, it's right. So it's either going to go to her father or it's going to go to her. No, I understand. Uh, her but the fact that the father is able to give her over and force her into a situation where her maizida are not kept for herself, shouldn't that show you that he has a schuss to her maizida? Hagufa. Unless that's only a dinder that, 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 that the husband keeps her maizida. Um, it is a dinder that the, that the, the husband keeps the maizida. And this, and I guess you're saying this is their eyes. I'm saying, but on the derabundant level, when you give it over, if I say, I'm saying you're giving, you're giving, he might, he has to have a right to it in order for him to give it over, correct? Mm-hmm. Otherwise, he's um, being about to remise you by giving it to the husband. Right. No, I, I, I Robert, isn't that the name of the game? Isn't that what you're supposed to do? So I'm saying, what is it? It gets transferred from him to her. I know, but I'm asking. The Gemara is saying all these different serum where the Gemara is just talking about a specific prat that that day that he's giving it over, he's 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 taking away. And the Gemara mocks it by saying, well, he could pay her back for it. My point is that once he gives it over to, to the husband, she doesn't have rights to her dad that she did before when she was in Nairo. Right. So you're saying that that's a raya? I don't know. I'm not sure. I think that that transfer. Okay, I, I, I hear. I hear you are. Um, but I think it's just that's transfers. That transfers over to from the husband to the wife. Right. I think, but I'm not sure. We have to see because I know it base, and in the next couple of blood, it talks about the husband's thing. I know you said uh, you're going to talk about uh, Shabbos and Yom Tov, but uh, the whole line seems like what happened to the beginning of the first Mishnah, Sheni B'chamishi. I understand not Shabbos, and I understand you're going to get to Shabbos and Yom Tov and what's it called, but uh, didn't we say you're supposed to get married? Uh, it seems that you can, the father could say, whatever, like you said, whenever she's not working, but didn't we pick two days because the time was on? Didn't we pick? So then go to Bezin yeah, next day? So, right. So what's so the problem? How does it... So that's when when you have to fall out. That... That's what you do. But Bezin's not there. I'm, I'm, talking, I'm talking about Shabbos Yom I know you're going to address that later. You said I'm talking about the teams that what the father could say whenever. What about Tanis Bezulon? No, he can't say whatever. He has to. He has to fit it into those parameters. No. Okay. Okay. It just seemed. Yeah. I think, I, yeah. I, it would I, have to be on. A, it would have to be on uh, Monday or or uh, whatever. Yeah. You in Ravi. Okay. Not really, mother. Really, only when there was a tacon. Only if the place there was a tacon. Correct. Yeah, I'm saying the father would have to do. He'd have to meet those tacon. It's not right. Okay. It seemed that up. it was. It just seemed yeah. that he can blow everything off. Even and Shabbos Yom we're going to get to. Right. Yeah. Right. So anyway, so the Gemara's kasha is back. So how do we have a proof? How do we know that the father get to keep the earnings from the daughter? Ela katana loitzricha Katana doesn't need a pasuk. Why? If he's allowed to sell her, do I need to say that he keeps her earnings? Meaning he's allowed to sell his daughter. So of course he's allowed to do ma'asiyadeh. Ella, ki itzra cross. So then since we don't need a pasuk for a katana, so therefore, then we need the pasuk for a naira. Right? So that's it. So that's why. Now the, the kasha is, how is the Gemara going back to lunch? How is it that you're allowed to get married on Shabbos and Yom Tov? Right, the, the Taisus Hashto, second Taisus on the bottom, it asks the fairly obvious question, which is, we said that you're not, you're not allowed to, uh, I'm sorry, not just uh, the third Taisus up, right? That 
we had the Gemara that you v'samachta b'chakecha v'loy b'shtecha that you're not allowed to get married a cholamayit because aim arvin simcha v'simcha. So Taisa says it's an and it's a drasha gemura. I don't know exactly what a drasha, not a drasha gemura is, but Taisa says it's a real drasha that really works, right? Meaning that it's a daraisa. So then Taisa says that it's talking about you're not getting married on Shabbos and Yom Tov. You're getting married on Taisa Shabbos and Taisa Yom Tov. Right? People stop doing melacha then, and therefore we call it Yom Tov, but you're still allowed to get married, right? That's twice the first time, twice the second time, he, he gave it over to the Shliach, whatever it is. But I mean, the twice is that it's a wild terror that twice is saying. That means you makabal Shabbos, right? You makabal Shabbos early. It means that's, that's how you, let's talk about nowadays. You made an early Shabbos, right? You make an early Shabbos, and then you decide, then you can marry her off on, on an early Shabbos, right? Meaning, are you allowed to do malacha then? No. When you make Shabbos early, you're not allowed to do malacha. But to get married, that you're allowed to do. So that's what Tosis is saying. The Gemara means when to marry her off on Shabbos and Yom because she can't work. She has to come home from work. But she, she, uh, she's allowed to get married then. Okay? That's, uh, that's the major yisoid of today's, today's daf. Yeah? Fine. But for us, I mean, then from that you get into all the shilas. If you forgot to count Svira, you makabal Shabbos early. You forgot to count Svira, you count Svira. Right? If a woman forgot to do a Siktara, can she do a Siktara? Uh, let's say you forgot to daven Mincha. Can you daven Mincha? All these things. Um, fine. Bye to Gemara. But for us, the father also is Mata, the daughter is Nadara. I mean, how do we know? To say, Benura, Beisavir. When she's been in her father's house, right? So therefore, um, and there says that by Taras Nazar. Fine, Makabal is Gita. He could also be Makabal her get. I mean, Nolan, how do you know? The Siva Yatsa Vahaisa. She goes out and she will be. Iskish Yitzias Lavayas. We make a hekish from going out to coming in, meaning just like he has the power over her to marry her off to whoever he is, to whoever he wants, he also has the power to accept her get, even if she didn't uh, want it. But if she gets a Yerusha of a field, so he gets control of that field, he's not allowed to eat the Peres. A father does not eat the Peres. That's like our Mishnah. Rabbi Yossi, but Rabbi Huda disagrees. A father can eat the Peres. What's the Machloik? A husband a husband, the Chachamah made a takana that he's allowed to eat the Peris, meaning when she comes with a field into, this gets into Nechze Milug, Nechze Tzayim Barzal, the different, the different way she could bring things into, into the marriage, right? So the, the Baal, the Rabbana will misakin that, she, that he could eat it, because if you don't let him eat the fruit, then he's not, he's not gonna, he's not gonna be part of me, he's not gonna be paid her. If she gets kidnapped, he's not gonna be paid her. Um, meaning because if uh, let's see, but Ella Av, my eagle a father, what are you going to say? The Mimna Valai Parik, you're going to say that a father is not going to, he's going to stop himself and he's not going to be paid his daughter, Balavachi Parikla. Without this, he's uh, he'll, he'll, of course, he's going to redeem it's his daughter, right? So, there, so therefore, um. That's the way, that's why the Tanakhama says you have to let the, the husband get the Paris, but not the father. No, he says the opposite. A father is not going to be part of it. I gave her a kiss. I gave her a wallet full of money. She's got a nest egg. Is it called a nest egg? She's got a... She's got a, what do you call it? A trust fund. Right? Tays of a different. Nafsha, let her go be part of herself. Mom is two opposite, two two opposite uh, uh, perspectives of, of what a father looks at his daughter like after he's married. One is that, of course, he's going to be paid. It's his daughter. The other one is saying, "No, I gave her away already. She has a nest egg. Let her be paid to herself." Right? Fine. So that's why that's that's why I have a machlek is whether we're going to give the father let the father eat the payers like this. If he eats the payers, then at least he'll be paid to her for that. Fine. Nisus, yes, sir, I love Abal, Shu Eichel. 
if they get married, then the Baal gets to eat the Paris. Let's say he writes to her. What? Paris, what's the problem? Why does it use this phrase, Eichel Paris? It doesn't mean Eichel Paris. It means he could collect $100,000 a month in rent from, from houses that That's, she owns. I mean, it says she can, eat, she, she can eat free tangerines. It doesn't mean that. So what do they say that for? mean it does really mean Paris doesn't it what he could do all the amount of food he could eat that's what it means not to cart away 25 truckloads of apples no he could take it and then he could yeah, so sell what it, it say, he... so why does it say Eichel Paris for doesn't mean that um even Aaron in the Shia could only eat two goes uh, through two or three on the most three fruits a night during the Shia <laughs> you noticed, yeah. huh? You noticed. Okay, good. Good, Hashem, good. good for you. You eat fruit. It's good. That's right. You're not a kaisen, therefore, he can give you musa. <laughs> I'm, I'm a cobble from a I bar, really and like a cobble everything. But uh, there you go. But anyway, um, okay, you want to say what should you call it if not call it Paris? What do you want to call it? I, I don't know. Keep keep whatever keeps the interest of all of her property. I don't know what I don't know the word, but it's not Eichel Paris. That's for sure. Right, okay. I hear that. I hear. But I thought that Paris is is like a a marshal for that. What does it have to use a marshal for? Why can't it just say what it is? I I, I don't know. I just thought Paris Paris would be. The normal, you know, the okay. I don't know. I don't know. I hear. Okay, so Torah about him. Cost of law. If he writes to his daughter, meaning into the marriage, he writes to his daughter. Paris ksus v'kalim. He says he's giving her fruit <coughs> and clothing and kalim. She yavo ima be base of the base pilot that she could bring with her from her father's house to her husband's house, right? But. It's this is going to happen once once they have nisuin again. You have Aris and they get engaged, and then they write in the ksuba before they get married that she's going to bring in clothing and fruits and utensils. But it's going to happen when they get married, right? When they get to the second stage. But they wrote it from the from the Aris in time. So then what happened? Then Mesa she died before they ever got to the second stage. Right, so again, they wrote, they wrote a star ksuba from when they were engaged. This is what's going to happen. But then she died before they ever got to the second stage. Does the husband get to keep it or not? Meaning, was there kavana when they wrote this in the ksuba that it's going to become his from when they're engaged? So then it's then it's his. Or do we say that it's not his because it's it's supposed to happen when they got married? Since they never got married, he doesn't get it. Right? Wouldn't so, this be like, so the same machlekes we had two days ago? The what? When the liens go, me lay in the nisuan. Lean for the ksuba. When does the shiba apply? Um. What do you mean? I mean, when is the shiba of the ksuba? Yeah, and the chanami. Yeah. I think that sounds like a similar. Yeah. Why the gemara didn't give the answer the way it's going to say? I don't know. That way it's going to say now. I don't know. Either way, so Gemara says, Mesa loy zocha abal b'dvarim halolo. The Tanakama holds that she doesn't get it. He doesn't get it. Mishum Rav Nosan amru zocha abal b'dvarim halolo. In the name of Rav Nosan, he says, it is zocha. So lehme b'flukta du Rebbe Loza ben Azai v'rabbanon k'miflugi. Let's say they're having the same machloikis that Rebbe Loza ben Azai and the Rabbanon have, the Tanan. And this machloikis is in the opposite direction. Nisan meloy niskarsha, if she became an almana or a grusha, whether they were only engaged or whether they actually got married, she gets everything. Meaning, because what they did was they had a ksuba. Rashi goes through the ksuba. We'll see this more later in the Masechta. Basically, the way there was ksuba is, is that you have the base ksuba, which says that he's, if it's an almona, he's going to give her a hundred 
hundred after he dies, or gets divorced, or he's going to give two hundred, right? And then you have all the ex- extras. So, so the uh, the the Tana uh, Rabbanon say that she he gets everything, whether they got whether he died. She gets everything, I'm sorry. Whether he died after they got engaged, before they got married, or after they got married, she gets everything in the Ksuba. Rabbi Lozman and I am in a suin. If they were married legitimately, they had the second stage of marriage. She gets everything. But if it's just from, if they were just engaged, the, 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 the Sula gets her standard 200, and the Amana gets 100, meaning they, they don't get the extras. They only get the standard, and that's it. Because he only wrote her the extras if he actually ends up marrying her, right? But if he doesn't end up marrying her, then he didn't give the extras. Meaning the basic suba is 100 for Namana, 200 for Rapsula. All the added extras that he's putting in there, that's if when they get married, so then he's giving that to them. But if she never got married, so she doesn't get the extras, that's Rabbi Lozim and Isaiah Shita. So now the Gemara wants to compare it to this. Yeah. Why would the Rabbanan, I'm just curious, why would the Rabbanan so mock bid that she should be able to collect the Ksuba even in Erison? Meaning when they're Masakin, that she should, that, that part, even according to the Quarantan Maliyama, that's that, that it's just the 200 or the 100 because you don't get to keep the extra. Why would they want you to get in Erison? Right. I mean, why would they care? So you shouldn't be Megarish from Erison? Like, what's. No, he's mean. They're worried that he's going to be a guy from I mean, Why would they care if she gets yeah. the extra? No, why would they care if she gets anything? No, the question is what was in the husband's. Why Why would Aderson yeah. give anything? Because that's the Sakana. They're worried that, that's that, the that he might divorce her even from Aderson. Yeah. Yeah, well, even once they get married. We're going to see tomorrow's stuff, I think, whether does it depend if she's a Basula from the Aderson or not? A basula or a ruler from the Aresin. But either way, so what the Gemara wants to do here is again, our Gemara's machlokes is if the wife brings in to the marriage extras, and then he die, she dies before they get married, meaning the second second step of marriage. So our question, our machlokes in the Gemara is it whether he gets to keep it or not. Meaning, meaning, was it Tully in? Her bringing these things in was a tully in an engagement or in the marriage. And the Gemara says, "Okay, we're going to learn it from a case that's the opposite direction, which is the extra that he says he's going to give if he dies or divorces her. Was that only those extras only given to her if they actually get married, or is it given to her even if they got engaged?" So the Gemara wants to say that it's the same machleka. So Lamanda Malay Zacha, the one that says that the, the husband doesn't get it if the wife dies, Kareva Lozav and Azariah. He's like Rabbi Lozim and Azai, who says that the wife doesn't get it if the husband dies, if they never got married. And the one that says Zacha is like the Rabbanon. Right? So even though they're in opposite directions, but the Gemara thinks that it should be the same. And what answers like the Kuliyama, Rabbi Lozim and Azai. Everybody holds like Rabbi Lozim and Azai, that she only, that if if he dies before they, they get married, then she only gets 100 or 200. The one who says that she that that he doesn't get, meaning in the case where she brings in the things, brings in the extras to the marriage, and they never actually got married until she died, holds like he holds like Rebbe Lozman Azaya. But the one that says that the husband does get it, I'd come like Rebbe Lozman Azaya. Rebbe Lozman Azaya only said that the wife doesn't get the extras of Suba when her husband dies. That's when it's him giving things to her. He didn't write her the extra things in the ksuba only on the, on the condition that he's going to actually bring her into the marriage. But when she's bringing the extras into the marriage, even Rabbi Lazim and Azayi agrees to it to Meshum Ichtune, who, because the reason is he doing is for Alt Michotanim. Not not mechotonim in the way we say it, but he wants to make um, the the. I guess it really is mechotonim. It's mechotonim with the chassid. He want the father-in-law wants to make the chassid very happy. So he comes to the wedding. He says, "By the way, she's going to come with with food. She's going to come with clothing. She's going to come with utensils." So that happens after the engagement. And he did this, right? So therefore, the the chassid, even before he gets married, will get to keep it. So again, 
Rabbi Elizabeth Azariah, who holds where he di- where he dies before they get married, she only gets the basic and not the extra because he never meant to give it to her unless they got married. Says that would not apply when she brings in the extras to marriage because the reason why the father gives her the extras in the marriage is to make her to make her be um, more acceptable to the husband, which is after engagement, not after marriage. So therefore, we have no proof that the machlokes goes in in either in either direction. Fine. Then the Gemara says, "Chayiv mizaynasel, he's chayiv to feed her." Right, meaning the husband is chayiv to feed his wife. It's honorable. about it. Tiknu mizaynasel, tachas maisi yadel. They said that the reason why the husband has to feed her is because he gets to keep her income. So since he gets to keep her income, so mameila he has to feed her. And he has to bury her because of the ksuba, meaning what's what's written in the ksuba, the nadin as they call it, what the what the what the kala, what the wife is bringing into the marriage. So the the tit for tat is kfura because is for ksuba, and and he has to feed her because he gets to keep her earnings. Again, the Gemara is saying that there's there's two things that the husband's mechuyu to do with his wife. He's got to feed her. And the reason why he's feeding her is because he's getting to keep her earnings. And he has to bury her. And the reason why he has to bury her is because he's already accepting money in the ksuba as, as a bonus. Lefikach. Lefikach. Baal oichel peiris. Because of this, the husband could eat the peiris. So Gemara says, what does that have to do with anything? Peiris, man Who said anything about peiris here? We're just talking about what the husband has to do for his wife. So Gemara says, There's something missing here, and this is how you have to learn it. The Brisa. They were misakin that he has to feed her because, because he keeps her earning. And he has to be paid to her because of the Paris. Right now we're adding a third thing. See, but originally there were two things: he has to feed her and he has to bury her. Now we're adding a third: he has to feed her because he gets her earnings. He Pirkona, he has to be paid to her. She gets kidnapped, Tachas Paris, because he gets to eat the Paris, right? Or or uh, the income, whichever way Rabbi would want to say it. And the Kfura, because of the Ksuba. The Fika, Baal Eicho Paris. Because of this, the Baal is allowed to eat the Paris, because that's because he eats the Paris, like we had an Omer Aleph. If you're going to allow him to eat the Paris, then he will he will redeem her if she gets kidnapped. My lefikoch. So what's the lefikoch? You just said it. You just said that he eats the peiros so that he'll be able to redeem her. So what's the lefikoch? Mao the same mechal lechlinu anu chidna nechinu. You you might think let him not eat the peiros, right? But let him put it away. So that meaning put it away in a fund for the wife. The imkain meaning and then meaning why should why are we saying let him eat the peiros and then he'll pay out of his own pocket. To redeem the wife, why not just say it? Just let take the Paris, put it away in a trust fund for her, and if she ever gets kidnapped, he'll pay it. He'll tell pay it from the trust fund. Why don't you do that? Because if you're going to do that, then he might stop himself and not be paid it. That's what, um, right. Um, uh, meaning that's what we would think. I'm sorry, I said it wrong. Because if, if you let if you don't let him do this, maybe he's not going to be paid to her. Why? Because maybe there's not going to be enough um, money there. Kamash Walan, the Adifa, that this is better. We'd rather let him eat the Paris instead of making a fund, and that fund may not have enough money in it. We'd rather him eat the Paris. Zimn and the Malu, because sometimes the fund won't be full. Uparakla midi day. And he's going to have to be paid to her. From his own money, and then he might not do. He might not do. So therefore, instead of making a fund from the payers, we'd rather him keep it, and then he'll be paid. Fine. So then it says, "Why don't we swap it out?" Meaning, we're saying that he has to feed her because he gets to keep her earnings, and he has to bury her because of the ksuba. Why don't we say that he has to feed her? Um, uh, he has to feed her. Because he eats the fruits, and he has to redeem her because of her actions, of her not her act. I see that meaning her earnings. 
Wait, who says that earnings gets tied to feeding her? And who says that Paris eating the fruits gets tied to being paid Who says? We would rather put something that's common with something that's common. And something that's not common is common with something that's not common. So earning her earning a living is common. And even back then, obviously, right? Um, her earning a living is common. So him feeding her is common. Shane Matsi, right? But uh Shane Matsi, Shane Matsi, that's no kidnapping is not so common. And it's not so common that a woman comes in with, with karka into into the marriage with a where the fruits the husband gets. So Mamela. We're going to put the common thing with the common and the uncommon with the uncommon. Fine. Now the Gemara gets involved with the, the chiyuvim of what a husband is mechuyiv do for his wife. So it's it's basically it's she'er, ksus, and aina. Yes, so now the Gemara is going to have machleks exactly what it is. But there's three things that the, in the ksuba says the husband has to do for the wife. Zomarov, hai tana sova, mezayinez medaraisa. This tana holds that the chiyuv for a, like this is what Akiva was saying before, that the chiyuv for a, a man to feed a woman is from the Torah, right? Before, the Gemara seemed to be saying that it was the Rabbanon. Here we're saying it's from the Torah. Why? The Tanya, because it says She'era, it says She'er, which literally translated means to, to provide for her. That means food. Right? That it's going to eat the She'er, the food of my nation. Which means clothing, that's what it's mashma. I know so, and her times do I know That's the time that it says in the term, meaning relations. If you're going to, Tana literally means if you're going to, uh, um, here we're saying that it means that you're going to give time. But if it's the play off of it is that if Tana is Benoise, this is Yaakov Avinu saying, I was Yaakov, yeah? Um, yeah, it was the Yaakov telling Lavan that don't cause my daughter's pain by not sleeping with them, right? So that's the, the first shot. Again, she'er means food, ksus means clothing, aina means relations. Rabbi Lazar, I mean, she'er is aina. No, he says she'er is talking about aina. V'cheinu aina ish ish a kol she'er b'saro, l'sikru l'gal etzerro. Right, she'er means a relative there. So it means, and it means basar, she'er basar. So it means closeness, a physical closeness. Ksusa k'mashmai, Ksusa means clothing. So that's what it sounds like. And her time means he has to give her food. Was this last week's parsha? Two weeks ago. Right? Uh, maybe it was last week. I don't know. And he caused week, you pain and let you be hungry. What? Yeah. Last week's parsha. Must be because I remember it. So <laughs> it's still only a few days old. <laughs> yeah, very good. Right, v'cheinu oimer v'yan chavayir v'yari v'yari v'echu. Fine. A third shot. Rabbi Lazar ben Yaakov oimer she'era ksusa. We make like a a comparison between the word she'era and ksusa. Lefum she'era ten ksusa. According to her she'er, according like we said she'er besare, according to her basar, according to her flesh, give her clothing. What does that mean? Shalayitin la loy shal yalda lezakein. Don't come home and say. I got on sale cheap clothing for a wife that's that's 80 years old and give her teenager clothing, right? Or you go, you know, you get clothing on sale and say, oh, here's the clothing for my wife when it's a clothing for an older woman that's meant for a younger woman. That, so that's one thing. I mean, it has to be the proper clothing. And what is ksusa and inasa? For my nasa, ten ksusa. According to the time of the year, not not the time of like we said that means of sleeping with her. But according to the time of the year, give her clothing. Don't give her new clothing during the summer because new clothing is not worn out so it's heavier and thicker and therefore she's going to be hot. And don't give her worn out clothing in the winter, in the rainy season, which is the winter because worn out clothing doesn't give the same amount of protection so therefore she's not going to be She's not going to be uh, um, good with that. So basically, he has a, those are three ways of learning. It's a machlaikis of whether she'er means, means uh, whether actually aina means food 
or Aino means relations. And then you add the last shita, which is that it doesn't mean either one of them. It means you just have to compare all of them to each other and you have to properly clothe her in the, in the proper way. Okay. Fine, we'll stop over there. All right. Have yourselves a fine night. And, uh, okay. Wait, okay. Where does the Rambam get any of them more important than the other in the in the Kisuva? No, right? They're all listed. All three are the same. All three are the same. Yeah, it's a bit of it's a bit of it's a bit of mitzvah derais if somebody doesn't provide it with the wife. Now, what is the shear vayna that we'll get to later? But the shear vayna is when the woman wants it. When the woman wants it, right? Clothing. I'm not exactly sure how often you have to buy clothing. I, I don't think it's certainly not when you when the woman wants it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, where does right. the Rabbam get his... his right, good enough. Yeah. Which psaq? The chair is Kirib Basar. Ksus is Ksus. And Aina is Aina. What we call Aina. He says it's two right. mitzvahs Sister Isa. Kirib Basar and Aina. Correct. Where does that come from? It's not like any of these come out. So what I was saying, what, what's saying? What, which, what, the, what are you asking? Yes, from the Gemara, are you asking? From the Gemara. The Ramban says, uh, what's it called? Sheira is, is Kiru Basar. And Aina is Tashmish. Hello? Oh, there you are. He muted. Trying to run to my Yeah, ah. what are you saying? The Ramban says that Sha'ira is Kiribasar and Aina is Tashmish. Right. Where does that come from? It's not like any of these Tanoim. Sha'ira is. What does he say again? Sha'ira is Kirav Basar. Right. Aina is Tashmish. I mean, it's not like either one of these. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how he, yeah. How was he going to learn? I hear that. I don't know. Well, that's what he paskins. It's a derisa. Right. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think the Gemara, the Gemara continues the discussion on the rest of the Amit. But it yeah, but it's not, uh, not like this. It's not going to answer yeah, it's not I mean, it's like he picks he picks the psuk in which each one goes with but, but, yeah yeah I didn't even want to get involved with the Rambam not bringing down Tyson Shabbos right once you're on that subject which which Tyson Tyson Shabbos oh to seven Shabbos yeah 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 right the famous thing that's why the Shukhanor says yeah Shimon right yeah, because uh, this is Shita's Tyson. I was only listening to us. I was listening to a Daf Yomi Shia before. Yeah, yeah. But I don't think I don't think what Tyson said would change according to the Rambam. The Rambam would agree to Tyson. An hour before Shabbos, there's no one doing Malafit. Right. So this man, there's no one doing Malafit. It would work. Yeah. Are you there? I oh, mean, tell me the same right. the from his bungle town you ever saw in your life. What? Tell me the same the from his bungle town you ever saw. <laughs> I, said, I said, tell me this. This, is, this ain't your standard bungle town. You know what I mean? <laughs> nope. <laughs> I'm, more, I'm, more in yeshiva. I'm more in yeshiva. Than, <laughs> I'm more in yeshiva in this bungle town than I am in, in, at home. <laughs> Did you see the other Tysons? The Rebbeinu Tam's Psak? The, the, this works that today? That, that uh, no. uh, a woman, uh, the man is not Irish, his wife's next day Milug until a year after marriage. Even though we don't do Eris and Misu in today the same way they did then. It's a wild Psak of Rebbeinu Tam. Yes, as you would say. Hello, you there? Right.
Uh, what's up, man? 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 What's up, man?